I think I think I might actually burn up on this pass. But I'm curious to find out. So am I gonna have a zero? Oops, what did I do? Did something wrong? Okay. I'm just gonna have a zero A away. kilometers and getting closer so this time when I go in to Mars I'm not going to pancake the atmosphere um, because my periapsis is so deep into the planet that I'm going to have plenty of drag just from the nose of the vessel itself in fact I think I think like I said I'm going to have so much drag that I'm going to burn up but we'll see 187 kilometers warp ahead a little bit. We can use warp until we get, until the atmosphere starts affecting the vessel, then we have to come out of warp, because otherwise things just go really crazy really fast. But our apoapsis will definitely drop a lot on this pass, just because I'm getting so deep into the atmosphere. So probably around 60 kilometers off to stop warping. Alright, here we go. Auto start. 57 kilometers, and you see the apoapsis is starting to drop. We're, we're getting drag from the atmosphere already. And this is cool. The periapsis is actually climbing this time, so we're actually getting a little bit of lift off the planet, which is good, because I need it. I need my periapsis to come up. So not only am I getting free, a uh, free energy reduction for my par uh, my apoapsis I'm also getting a free energy increase in my periapsis and that's great in fact if this comes up too much I will start to uh, uh, pancake the atmosphere a little bit because I do want to bring down apoapsis as much as Center I can of gravity shift toward online. 300 kilometers or something this is all free energy this is what's so cool you know I'm not doing any burns the only thing that's running is the uh, hydraulic system. I do gotta watch the hull temperature, like I said, because I'm getting a pretty good, pretty good dive into the atmosphere here. But with the way the periapsis continues to increase, I don't think I'm having any problems. But I do gotta watch this hull temperature. Periapsis is still climbing. Apoapsis is still going down. Take a look at the outside. temperature is good so I'm not gonna have any problems I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of uh, give myself a little bit more angle of attack that way I'm exposing more surface area well you see the periapsis is already starting to decline when I do that so I'm not gonna take too much of an angle of attack it's still going down so I have to stay with zero on this pass. Yep. I have to zero it out and just use it. Altitude's increasing again. Alright, well I didn't really get as much benefit out of that pass as I would have liked. Apoapsis is still out to six million kilometers periapsis is still going down hard hmm. slowly. I'm in the atmosphere so I gotta be a little careful using warp. 
Alright, I'm getting up out of the atmosphere now, so... Alright, I can turn off the APU. Turn off the autopilot. Now I can warp ahead to apoapsis. I am going to have to use a little bit of fuel to bring up the periapsis, going back around for another pass with the periapsis being that low, I think would be, well, yeah, I mean, it would definitely be suicidal in, in a realistic scenario, because you would, you would potentially hit mountains at that altitude. You won't run into that in orbiter, because the bodies don't simulate terrain, but, hmm. You know, I think just out of curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and let it run at that altitude just to see what happens. Okay, so another thing, September 4, 10 a.m. I want to see how long it takes me to get to Apoapsis. Okay, we're basically there. It's two hours. So we're probably looking at two hours to get back around. Yep, basically. Okay, so we're altitude 500 kilometers. We need to go through this routine again. Uh, switch over to prograde to get herself orientated. Her proper orientation. And get everything zeroed out. Yeah, this is going to be interesting going in this deep. Let's see. Bring down the altitude a little bit more. There we go. And prograde. Good kill. And switch over to sort of airplane mode. Now we will definitely get, I would assume, a big drop in the apoapsis on this pass getting very deep into the atmosphere. Let me warp ahead a little bit. Because again, I can... I'm not terribly affected by the atmosphere until I get down into the 70s, 60s. Okay, here we go. You can watch the orbit eccentricity. And again, I haven't used any fuel for making orbital changes at this point. The only thing I've had on is the APU. Periapsis is increasing, that's good. There's probably a way to uh, come into the upper atmosphere with a certain angle of attack. Maybe not. Periapsis is still increasing. Apoapsis is going down. Getting into the thicker atmosphere now. Gonna watch the whole temperature. the outside view. Apoapsis is coming down still. Getting into the uh, densest parts of the atmosphere now. So we should really start getting some drag. That's going to increase temperatures. And I can hear the outside really starting to drag on the uh, vessel. APU auto start. APU Center fixed automatically as needed. Online. Information. APU fuel 80%. Apoapsis has come down a million kilometers on this pass so far. And that again, that's how far out into space we go. 
We want a nice circular orbit. Mach 20. Altitude's climbing again, so now hull stayed good and cool, and it's already cooling down, so I'm not gonna have to worry about any overheating on this pass. Periapsis is dropping again. Yeah, I think I'd probably get. In maximum benefit out of go ahead and doing a small burn at apoapsis to bring the periapsis up to like 50 kilometers that way I can pancake the atmosphere when I come back around instead of doing these uh, you know almost level passes I can come in having the vessel standing almost on its tail so that's what I'm going to do on this next pass, because I think the last time I did this, it only took me three passes to get a circular orbit. Okay, so I'm going to warp ahead here a little bit, get up into the thinner atmosphere. See, it's climbing, and we're pretty much well out of the uh, Mars. Atmosphere, shut off APU, and we'll go out to Apoapsis, which probably won't take very long at all. Time to Apoapsis, Apoapsis 500 seconds, 400, 300, 200, okay, oops, almost overshot it. So now I want to bring up Perigee. We'll bring it all the way up to like 50 kilometers. Or Periapsis, not Perigee. Perigee's on Earth. So that was a very minimal amount of fuel. You know, very tiny amount to burn there. But I think it'll be worth it. So now I'll go back around to Periapsis. that up. Oh man. Went ahead a little bit too far. APU auto start. This time I'm gonna Center pancake of the gravity atmosphere shift online. at uh, 40 degrees. Gonna give me a big amount of surface area that'll be dragging through the atmosphere should bring down apoapsis a lot, hopefully. Still dropping into the atmosphere. seconds away from periapsis. I'm watching the apoapsis drop. Speed things up a little bit. Keeping an eye on the periapsis again. I don't want it to drop too much, if any. I do want the apoapsis to come down a lot more. Basically another 3.8 million kilometers. <laughs> 